Howdy folks, it's Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, making another video for you out of Boise, Idaho. Now let's talk about um, replacing the timing belt on your Honda 1.7 liter engine. So it's really pretty much straightforward. If you watched the previous video that shows you how to set TDC and you've gotten to this point, then you're ready to pull your timing belt. Um, you're going to need a 14 millimeter so, uh, socket or ratchet here to go ahead and pull your tensioner and then also just use I use a large pick there to go ahead and pull the spring off of it that'll loosen it up you you are also going to see a sensor down here your crankshaft sensor it's a 10 millimeter go ahead and pull that off that'll give you the room you need here to pull your belt off and then once you have that off, it's really just that simple. It's as simple as doing that. So there you go. And then you can also go ahead and just verify and check, turn the slide off for you, that you are at TDC. See, there's your arrow now. And so there you go. So now we're going to go after the water pump. And that's going to be one, two, three, four. 10 millimeter bolts. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then show you what that looks like. All right, so there you go. Four 10 millimeter bolts and that water pump should come right off. So now I'm going to get this cleaned up and we're going to install our new water pump. All right. And there you have it, guys. Nice new water pump installed. So the torque specs on this are 12 inch pounds, which is literally nothing. So get get a small ratchet if you don't have a torque wrench. Get a small ratchet and just hand tighten and go about a quarter turn. That's all you really need to do. It doesn't need to be gorilla tightened down or anything like that. So, so now that you have a new water pump installed, it's time to go ahead and reinstall your new timing tensioner and then we'll get the the new timing belt installed and I'll show you what that looks like next. Now remember you need your 14 millimeter socket to go ahead and get your timing tensioner installed. Alrighty, and so there you have it. Now you should have your timing installed. So if you're struggling with your tensioner here and you're coming back the best way to get this belt installed is to just leave this tensioner a little loose, install your belt, and then go ahead and get your spring installed, and then tighten the tensioner down, and you'll be good to go. And then once you have your belt installed, the only other thing that you want to do is just turn it clockwise, turn it two full rotations on the bottom, because two full rotations on the bottom equal one full rotation on the top. And so you're gonna do that to make sure that you don't have any valve to piston interference and everything is good. So so there you go, folks. So just to recap, remember, your timing mark is here. Let me see if I can get you some good focus here, actually. Come on, camera. Okay, so your timing mark is gonna be here with an arrow back there hidden by the belt, and then you're gonna to wanna to be at 12 o'clock here. So there you go, folks. All righty, guys. Well, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, subscribe, thanks for supporting me. If you have any questions concerning this, just shoot them to us in the comments, and we got a pretty good community going, so either myself or somebody else will get back to you and uh, help you out with your project. So, all right, guys. Well, this is Matthew, your friendly neighborhood technician, signing off.